Let's level set, shall we? Welcome to Dr. B and 3. Okay, okay, okay. We've all heard scary sounding stories about chemicals in our foods, in our skin products, and even in vaccines that may be harmful. To be sure, chemicals have gotten a bad rap. And the question is, do they deserve it? Let's break this down, shall we? What are chemicals? Where can we find them? And are they harmful? To kick this discussion off, I'm gonna start with a chemical that is everywhere. No matter how careful you are, you likely ingest this chemical every single day. It's called dihydrogen monoxide or DHMO. It's colorless, odorless, and contains a highly reactive hydroxyl radical. That sounds scary, right? But here's the thing. While all those words make it sound dangerous, dihydrogen monoxide is actually just another name for good old H2O. Yup, yup, water. And not only should you drink it every day, water is absolutely essential for all life on our beautiful planet. See, a chemical is any substance that has a defined composition. It's made of stuff. And all our stuff is made of atoms. An atom is the smallest unit of an element, which is defined by the number of protons in its nucleus. When two or more atoms are chemically bound together, they form a molecule. A chemical can refer to either elements or molecules. Some things, like pure water, are made up of a single chemical, H2O. Other things, like bananas, contain many different chemicals. We, as humans, interact with chemicals every day because they are literally everywhere. Everything around you, on you, and yes, inside you, is made of chemicals. While chemicals are found throughout nature, we can also manufacture some chemicals, including plastics like polyethylene, synthetic fibers like polyester, and even gases like nitrogen and oxygen. Understanding the relationships between chemicals and chemical reactions has led to many technological advances. That computer in your pocket or laptop on your desk uses small yet powerful batteries to keep your bars up. Yup, all chemicals. It's important to remember that just because a chemical is manufactured, that doesn't necessarily make it bad. And likewise, just because a chemical is found in nature, that doesn't necessarily make it good. Beautiful hemlock, anyone? But of course, not all chemicals are harmless. Bleach is a highly reactive chemical that works by breaking chemical bonds. We use it to purposefully damage chemicals we don't want around, like stains on clothes. It also reacts with biological tissue and destroys proteins, which makes it a great disinfectant, but also makes it dangerous. Like many other things in life, just because a chemical is dangerous doesn't mean that it shouldn't be used. It just means that precautions must be taken before handling them, which is why we wear gloves when cleaning with it, glasses on our eyes, and we keep it out of the reach of children. Our bodies use multiple chemicals that are highly toxic and even fatal if we interact with them in the wrong way, including ammonia, hydrogen peroxide, and acetone but our bodies are able to make, control, and regulate them in our systems. Formaldehyde is used to preserve dead organisms and is known to cause cancer. But your cells make formaldehyde all the time as a product of metabolism, which is then converted into formate and used to make DNA. Yes, the building blocks of life itself. While some dangerous chemicals can be useful, other chemicals have dangerous properties, but aren't necessarily harmful. Let's jump back to our favorite chemical, water. Besides H2O and dihydrogen monoxide, water has other scientifically accurate names including hydrogen oxide, hydric acid, hydrohydroxic acid, and hydroxylic acid. While these complex names can make it seem dangerous, so can some of its properties. In 1983, a Michigan newspaper ran a special April Fool's Day edition which highlighted the seemingly serious issue of hydrogen oxide being found in the city's water pipes. It warned readers that the chemical was fatal if inhaled and could produce blistering vapors. Craig Jackson revisited this parody and included that it's the major component of acid rain, may cause severe burns, and has been found in tumors of terminal cancer patients. And you know what? All these are true. Water can be fatal if it's inhaled. That's called drowning. Hot water and steam can cause serious burns resulting in blisters. And water is the main component of rain, acid or not. 
A hundred percent of people who drink dihydrogen monoxide, i.e. water, will die. That's just because everyone dies eventually, or at least so far. At the end of the day, it's too simple to say that some chemicals are safe and others are harmful. What makes a chemical harmful is based on the type of chemical, the amount you're exposed to, and how you're exposed to it. Some chemicals that are harmful in certain situations can be life-saving in others. Exposure to venom from pit vipers is often fatal. Yet chemicals in the venom are used in medicines to treat high blood pressure. So the next time that someone says you shouldn't use something because it has chemicals in it, remind them that literally everything on earth is made of chemicals. In fact, they wouldn't be alive without chemicals. While a lot of chemicals are harmless, some are harmful. Check that that information you're getting is from a reputable source, not just a post on some of social media. Yes, chemicals react, but make sure the source of your story isn't just looking for a reaction. If you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below.